What's unique about UT Houston is that as an intern, you're handling purely neurologic problems. Uh, you actually get to rotate through three different neuro rotations, all the way to functional patients. So it's really awesome. This is one of the highest volume trauma centers in the country. And as an intern, that's really incredible. Uh, there was one day, for example, where I had three subarachnoids in the emergency department, and I did three EBDs in one day. And I don't think that many interns can say that uh, across the country. And we uh, pushed someone to the OR for a operative epidural. And that's all just in one day. So I think it's just an unparalleled opportunity to learn and do these more complex cases as an upper level. As an intern, you really get to interact with the attendings, which I think is very unique about this program. On consult, I really call all the attendings to staff every case that I see in the emergency room, and they really help tailor my management. They're really invested in their residents, and they want you to be the best neurosurgeon that you could be. In this program, we spend four months in the pediatric neurosurgery rotation, all as a PGY2. It's a really great rotation. We have three attendings, and they all have different areas of interest, different approaches to the way they solve different problems, and they all also operate very differently from each other. It's a really great experience for a PGY2 because we see different ways of doing things. You spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with the attendings, improve your surgical skills because you're alone in the OR with the attending doing every surgery. You see a wide variety of problems from common things like shunts to even seeing fetoscopic, endoscopic surgery for myelomeningocele repair, so it's really great. And then the other thing is that pediatrics is still kind of a general neurosurgery rotation in the sense that you see everything from brain tumors and cranial surgery to spine surgery. And so it's a really great place to start. And then moving forward, I'll be going into specific areas like spine trauma and cranial and really delving deeper into those particular areas. So I have an interest in pediatrics now that I didn't have before. I think our program's unique in the curriculum setup. So there's a four-year core where you progress from being an intern to a four, and by the time you finish your fourth year, you should have a core expertise of knowledge to handle really anything that comes in the door that may be considered general neurosurgery. Fourth year is kind of the capstone year of our core curriculum, and so it's when you're operating with Dr. Day and you're going over to Southwest and running a service by yourself. By the end of fourth year, you have basically completed everything you need to be a basic neurosurgeon. I think with the way the, the PGY-5 research year has evolved, it teaches you how to set up a lab, run a lab yourself. We have faculty that have research interests in pretty much every field of neurosurgery. So they're very willing to help out with getting us the patients that we need to help with research. We have quite a few fellowships. I think one of our more popular ones is our endovascular fellowship. It's a um, fifth and seventh year experience, but once you're done with that, you're fully certified to do any endovascular procedure. One that they're in the process of making is a CAS certified spine fellowship. One thing that I think is good with our program is we don't take a lot of outside fellows. There's a lot of emphasis on our training. The Texas Medical Center is a, a pretty unique thing top-notch medical facilities here, different hospital branches and headquarters here. The fact that it's so concentrated allows a wide breadth of patients to be taken care of. We're blessed to have a really, really remarkable caseload here. That's important because each and everything that you want to see, you're going to get exposed to here. There's several things that I think really stand out and that I think you should consider if you're an applicant. I think number one, you have a case volume that's unparalleled. Uh, you have high case volume in each subspecialty that will give you adequate exposure and adequate training in each neurosurgical subspecialty. I think number two is the complement of attendings that we have here. We've got a lot of really remarkable, technically superb surgeons that are very passionate about their field of work. I think number three is the resident compliment we have here. I think as a whole, we all get along very well. We're all friends. And I think number four is the research. It's grown every single year. The research, the top 10 NIH funding is, is remarkable, but I think it's just the start. A lot of really exciting things being done. And I think just a lot of really passionate people that care a lot about what they're doing and, and it's only going to improve from here.